What's up guys and welcome back to Nat's Tech Time. Today for this week's Tutorial Tuesday video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your footage in iMovie to up to 400x even though iMovie only allows a 20x speed. Alright, as you can see, I've already got a clip loaded on my timeline, uh, which I previewed a moment ago, showing uh, cloud time lapse. Right now, as you can see in the middle of the screen here, this clip is a total of 11 minutes and 33 seconds long. It's a continuous clip that I shot on a GoPro clone. So with this clip on my timeline, in order to increase the speed of the clip, I'm going to take my cursor to the upper right hand corner of the screen to the speed gauge looking icon and first I have to make sure that my clip is selected. Once it's got the yellow perimeter around it, the clip is selected. Now if I click on this speed gauge icon, if I hover on it, it says speed. I click on that icon and it asks me whether I want to run the clip. Uh, forward or reverse, but the speed is what I'm interested in. If I click on the drop down arrow next to normal, I'm going to put it down to fast. And then it asks how fast do I want it, 2x, 4x, 8x, or 20x. Well, I'm going to take this to the max here, 20x, 20 times speed. And you'll notice if I come back down to the bottom left of my screen, that that shortens the duration of the clip from 11 and a half minutes to 34 seconds because I've increased the speed 20 fold. Playing the clip at this point will look a little rough until I've saved the file and have it rendered. It'll look much smoother but if I move my scrubber with my mouse here you can see by the movement that the clouds are moving at a pretty good pace there. So 20 times faster than what we had before. Now that's the limit that iMovie allows us to do in terms of speed 20x with the footage that I have there. <clears throat> so then how do we take this from 20x up to 400x? In my case, I wasn't satisfied with 20x speed. It wasn't quite fast enough for what I wanted playing at uh, normal speed through the 34 second clip. I wanted to go faster and so I got a bit creative um, and the first thing I needed to do, of course, was to save this project as a file so that I had this new movie clip of 34 seconds. So to do that, you can look at one of my previous videos. I'll have a link in the description going over how to save a iMovie project as a file, how to render your video and save it as a file. But to briefly recap, if I go to file at the top left of my screen and down to share and then over and down to file it will then give me some options as to how I want to do it I'm going to set it down to 720p and for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to set it to faster to render faster and then I would say next and tell it where I want to save the final product here and I'm going to put it on my desktop and we'll do that now. Okay, the file's been rendered and saved successfully to my desktop. I know that's just out of frame here from what you're seeing. And now what we're going to do is get rid of the original file. I'm going to highlight and delete that. I'm going to drag from off screen here my file on my desktop. Okay, and now I've got my new 34 second file here. So what I do to increase the speed from 20x to 400 times the original speed is to highlight the clip again as I did before. Go back up to the speed icon here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to move this over just a bit. I'm going to click on the speed icon and again I'm going to go from normal to fast and I'm going to select 20x again. And you'll notice down at the bottom left of the screen 
I've gone from 34 seconds of footage down to just under two seconds of footage here. And to look at the finished product here, I'm going to drag it into frame. Here's the video clip. And I'll give it a play. And there you go. So you realize here that you'll need to shoot several minutes of video to get a few seconds of footage if you're going to increase the speed that much. But there it is, you've now got a slick looking time lapse, uh, much faster than the settings within iMovie allow you to do just by saving the file once, importing it again, and resetting the speed to your desired speed above 20x uh, to 4, 8, or 20. All right, I hope that was helpful. Community question for the day. What tips, tricks, or methods have you found with iMovie workarounds, special tricks that weren't obvious when you first began to use the program? Feel free to share those tips in the comments below since some of the best ideas come from you, the viewers. Thanks, and see you next week.